What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to this video. It's currently 2.37 a.m. in the morning and we're going to be talking about how to escape the nine to five. Now, if you're new here, you're gonna click this and see me, a 21 year old, talking to you and you might be like, why is this kid telling me how to escape the nine to five when he's so young? Now, I'm gonna give a little bit of backstory and then I'm actually gonna walk through different, like I, I've made notes in this video, guys. I don't normally do that, so this video is gonna be like extra, extra up there. Um, there's different topics I want to cover, right? So after I give a little bit of backstory, I'm gonna talk about like why most people, including yourself, if you're watching this, are usually like why they're stuck in the nine to five. Um, sort of like the reasoning behind why most people get trapped in the nine to five and feel like they can't get out of it. And then go over sort of like the cycle of money because you need to understand money and time and all of these other factors to actually understand why you feel like you can't get out of this nine to five, of the job, um, of the corporate, you know, in infrastructure that, that, that you feel trapped in. Um, and then end it off with, you know, how to actually get out of this system and sort of make systems for yourself. Okay, that's gonna be the basis of this video. I'm really excited. I'm also really tired, but we're uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Okay, so first of all, guys, yeah, my name is Thaddeus. Um, basically, I got started in business basically at the end of high school, like senior year. By 18, I was making a high five figures a month from an e-commerce brand. Um, and then afterwards from there, I basically launched senior you know, softwares. I launched SaaS programs, senior you know, software as a service. I had marketing agencies. I have lead gen agencies, and you know now I I, I do I do a lot of stuff right now. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I think I have, you know, room to be talking in this space and sort of give you guys advice and what I've come to realize over over this time, you know, doing this myself, right? And the biggest thing that got me into business was when my my own father, right, he worked for Microsoft for 14 years, got laid off in the blink of an eye. And that's when I was like, damn, like, I don't want to be in this corporate structure. I don't want to be doing this when a company can just like get rid of me like that, okay? I, don't, I didn't want that on myself. So like to me, it looked almost riskier to spend all this time, you know, going through college, studying something and then working for a company when they could replace me super fast rather than, you know, starting something for myself, building something unique that someone can't replace instantly, right? Th like that's my perspective. It just looked a lot safer to go this route, okay? So first thing, why are people stuck in the nine to five, right? If you're watching this video, right? Obviously no, like no situation is exactly the same, but usually, you know, people have commitments, people have bills to pay and you might be scared, right? That like this income that you have currently from your, from your job, from, from this nine to five, I'm saying that word a lot. You know, you don't want that to stop, right? You, you, you'd be nervous for it to stop. The first thing I want to clear too is like quitting your job will not give you freedom. But what a ship is, what the Black Pearl really is, is freedom. Especially at first, okay? Or really, really at first. It's not going to give you freedom right away. In fact, you'll probably have a lot less freedom after you quit your job if you're really actually trying to sort of escape this system. It's you know, the, the system is made for you to feel comfortable in this space. To break out of that, it, it takes a lot of work, okay? A lot, a lot of work, all right? Now, a lot of people too, you know, in these little like fancy like videos telling you how to like escape the science five, they're like, oh, you can be your own boss, you can do this, this, and that. And like, that's not the case either, okay? I mean this like objectively in the sense that everyone becomes your boss when you're trying to escape the nine to five and create something for yourself, right? When you're trying to create your own system, right? For example, if you own your own business, okay? Yeah, you can call yourself the CEO, but you're not really the boss. The market's going to dictate your own actions, okay? Your employees are gonna dictate your own actions. The, your own customers and clients and their feedback are gonna dictate and make you perform certain actions, right? So although you still feel like, okay, you're choosing these actions deliberately, like I'm the boss, I'm in charge, there's all these other factors, they're, they're the ones in charge because they're the ones making you do these certain actions, okay? So that's another thing to understand right off the bat. So. Again, like this, like I'm not trying to like sugarcoat anything. I want, you know, to actually help you guys and, you know, show some of you guys how to literally get out of this system so that you can do the things you want to do. Because I'm sure a lot of people watching this video, right, you're, you're in a job that maybe you don't like or you feel like is below your pay grade. Like you can be doing so many better things um, that you want to personally pursue. This video is to help you, okay? Now, the next one. So the reason why the nine to five like traps you, okay? So again, it's okay to be like nervous or scared that you're gonna lose your income or um, you know lose like this this quote unquote steady sort of like stable income that you have coming in right like the education system literally literally trains us to be used to having like bosses and people telling us what to do and doing this this and that and like that's why again like I don't glorify dropping out of college or anything like that either because a lot of people aren't disciplined enough to actually you know like like a lot of college kids they need a teacher or need someone to give them due dates tell them what to read tell them what to take notes on by dropping out if you don't have the discipline to actually force yourself to do those things yourself, you're not gonna get anywhere, you're not gonna make progress, right? So again, this isn't for everyone, and it's gonna be a lot harder than you think, okay? 
And like, even for me after I dropped out, shit was a lot harder than I thought it would be. But you know, so far it's working out and it, it takes a lot of work, okay? Um, basically, the reason why I kind of sort of like, like you feel trapped in your nine to five is like pe people are used to having to like resign themselves to other people, right? So like even as a kid, you're just like, like growing up in your childhood, you resign yourself to your parents and like your actions, like you, you listen to your parents, right? You, you obey them. Um, that's why I think like you even hear this too, like the, like the rebel kids, the, the kids that sort of like, quote unquote, like didn't follow the rules and stuff. Like sometimes those kids are the ones that can go off to create crazy things is because like they, they do things themselves. They don't necessarily always listen to the rules. And I like sort of like a cliche thing. Um, but again, that's just because we're used to resigning ourselves. Okay, even in the education system, you're always listening to the teacher. You have to listen to the due dates. You don't really have any flexibility in that, right? You resign that self, you resign yourself to that system for 12 years. And a lot of you people, like a lot of people these days, especially with the, the, especially with the technology we have and stuff, like people are realizing like, I don't need to be doing this. I don't need to be following this path. There's nothing forcing me or holding me down to this path except <laughs> this feeling of being comfortable with what you have currently going on. And that's, you know, that, that's what makes people stay. That's what makes you stop trying to pursue and be uncomfortable and like change your situation, right? Um, so basically, now this is probably the most important part of the video, okay? I wanna go over like the cycle of money, how to make money and time and all these other things, okay? Because if you don't understand this, you're not gonna be able to get out of the equation, right? You need to understand the equation so you know how to manipulate the equation in your favor, okay? Again, this is like a, I don't know, it's like science. Um, science. Um, so basically, when you work a job and you wanna make more money, you go to your boss and say, hey, can I work more hours, okay? Um, what does that actually mean, right? Broken down in the simplest sense is that you are paid hourly, okay? In your head, to make more money, you need to give up more hours, okay? More time to make that income, right? So if you're making $10 an hour, you work four hours, you make $40. If you need to make $100, then you're making, you're gonna end up working 10 more hours, okay? So that's, that's how people are like used to thinking about money. As a business owner, okay, as you yourself, as someone that's trying to break out of this mold, create something for yourself, you, you know, you, as, as a business owner, you need to realize, okay, that one, there's only 24 hours in a day. You only have those 24 hours of a day to yourself, but as a business owner, your business itself is this organic, like it's, it's this organism, okay? You literally have to think about it, like it's, it's this creature that you're growing. Now, what you have to also put into mind is, one, you're working these hours constantly in the beginning, right, to get your business set up. You're putting in as much time, okay, time, keyword, as you can to grow this organism. Now, as a successful business owner, you need to realize that to grow your business, you need to be able to purchase more time and purchase more automation, okay? How do you purchase more time when you're capped at 24 hours a day? Well, you get more people, okay? More people equals more time per day for your, for your business, for the organism, not for you, okay? Okay, because again, you're the one trying to grow this organism, okay? So you have to think about it as in terms of like this, this business, okay? How do you get more time for your business is by hiring people, okay? So now like, you know, before you were on the job side of the equation, now you're on the other side of the equation where you have to find people and give them the job to work these hours, okay? Now we can talk about automation in a second, but basically, that, that again, that, that adds more time to your life. So one more employee, one additional hire can give you anywhere between, you know, like four to eight hours a day or something per day. So previously, if you're capped at, you know, eight hours a day, me personally, like as a kid, as a young kid, I didn't have really a lot of commitments or anything like that. So like, I was literally working, like I would wake up, go to the gym, maybe get some food and then work all day and then fall asleep and then do the same thing over and over again. Like it's not a pretty process. Right? A lot of people glamify this. It's not, you know, as pretty as it seems. Actually, we're gonna use this cookie now because this is fucking good. But like, again, that was putting in more hours. I was putting in as many hours as I could to grow the business faster and to get it off the ground and to make it money and scale and stuff. So how do you get more hours? You bring on more people. Because now if there's two people doing that, right? Versus like, say you only work eight hours a day, you have another person working four hours a day, now you have 12 hours, okay? If you bring on more people, then you have 16. And then eventually you have more hours than there are technically in a day, but the business itself has more hours. That's how you scale, that's how you progress forward. That's how you create a system that is making you money every single day is by having like you have so many hours now where like it's it's this again this organism that you're growing okay now on the flip side of it there's automation now with automation what it does is you're it, it you know you're using softwares and tools that can do things that humans one can't do um or that 
you know, the automation just does better or that humans shouldn't be doing. Automation one is, again, it's really cheap, but it, it saves you time, right? So rather than hiring which can create you time, automation usually saves you a lot of time on doing menial tasks and stuff like that. Now down the road, like in 10 years when, you know, technology has gotten a, a lot better, it'll be able to do a lot more than just like basic tasks and stuff like that. But again, there's softwares like Zapier, Pipedrive, Twilio, even ClickFunnels, guys, like all these things do a very specific job. Like they, they've, they've done human jobs and convert them into softwares. Like ClickFunnels is a, a landing page builder, but in a sense, it's literally a salesman, right? You go to a ClickFunnels page, the objective is to get a sale out of someone. It's like that, that's the sales guy's job, but now it's in the ClickFunnels, okay? You know, Zapier is a, a middleman that connects different automations, okay? Uh, Twilio is something that literally sends out text, automated text that you can con like construct to do, you know, to send you text based on any aspect of your business before you would need like a PA or a communications manager to do that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it, it saves you time. And again, you can hire more people to do other aspects of your business, okay? There's certain things that you should have people be doing and certain things that you should have automation be doing. Here's my cookie, man. I'm so hungry right now. Excuse me. It's like three in the morning, literally. Yeah, it's literally three in the morning. My supplier messaged me. Some girl just mentioned me, so not important. Now, um, how do, I'm gonna finish this food first. How, <laughs> next segment, right? How do you actually get out, get out of the nine to five, right? So first of all, you shouldn't just quit your job right away and be like, yeah, I'm a business owner now. I know how to hire people and automate and I'm gonna make money, like, no, let's beat, okay? What you need to do is one, stick to your job, but realize that you understand the system. Now you understand the system that you're in that you need to get out of and create your own, okay? Now, you're not gonna quit your job right away because that's your funding, right? As a business owner, as a successful and smart business owner that you are, you need funding. You realize you need funding. Business operates on capital and cash flow and your only cash flow and funding is through that income source right now. So you can't quit right now, like at that moment, unless you have other sources of income coming in, okay? Which if you're watching this video, you probably don't have like, 10 different income sources coming in, okay? So you wanna stick with your job first, but also be working and realizing that your time is super, super valuable, which I'll get into in a second too. But yeah, it's like as a business, you need funding. So you're gonna stick with your job and realize, like become aware of the system that you are in. And again, get out of it and create your own, okay? Now you also need to value, okay? This is super, super important. You need to value your time more than you value money. Today I wanna show you how to uninstall Fortnite control panel then click uninstall a program. You must look for Epic Game Launcher. A lot of people can't do this and a lot of people like refuse to do this, but that's how it is. It's literally how it is. Like ask yourself, like this is super cliche too. Like you hear it a lot, but like, you know, Warren Buffett's worth like 80 billion or something. And he's like really old. Would you trade lives with him? Probably not. And you, if you ask why, it's like, cause he's really old. He can't do a lot of things that you can do at a younger age, right? Like. You can't be going cliff jumping and shit at like cliff jumping in Hawaii while well, we can't like like that's just, that's what I'm saying like it's not about the money it's about the time the time you have available to create experiences for yourself and like get this freedom that you were craving or do things that you're passionate about it's not about the money okay that right there like that asking yourself that like would I switch places with this person who's super old has a lot of money you say no and you just you know you just prove that right okay so yeah, you need to value your time more than money. Now, the, like the best, the best example of this, guys, is people that go to Costco gas and wait 20 minutes to save five dollars a gas. Okay, my my parents used to do that too. Like I'm I'm speaking to you guys from experience. Okay, like I didn't grow up like rich or anything like that. Like my my like when I when I was in middle school and high school, like I was the kid that you know typed in a, a special code to get lunch, like discounted lunch from the government and shit like that. Um, but my parents were busting their ass doing all that kind of work. And Isaiah's watching me right now record this video. Um, uh, but yeah, guys, you need to value your time a lot more than money. And again, like, like again, that's just the best example I can think of is like people that literally go to Costco gas and wait in that line and just like, just to save like four or $5, I mean, maybe a little bit more, but like, it's not worth your time. In that time period, you should be able to make a lot more rather than save $5, okay? You need to be like restructured, like you really need to, rewire your brain like i think the hardest part about anything like like any part of this guys is unlearning what you've thought has been right this entire time 
that's gonna be the hardest part like actually teaching you guys the systems and stuff is the easy part but having you guys just unlearn a lot of the bullshit or like the just just the standardized stuff that you've been taught is going to be the hardest section for yourself to do um but at least now you're aware of that okay so next part right how do you actually like what what, what well, like what the fuck do you do uh, first of all there's a lot of things you can do so i'm like literally you like if you're into real estate you can you know start doing real, real estate you can you know create your own SaaS, your own software now a lot of these things have a higher sort of like barrier to entry which require a little bit more capital but again as a smart businessman you're sticking with your job you have more funding right or you can do something that has a much lower barrier of entry okay for example like e-commerce that's what i got started with okay like that's what you can do but like as long as you realize that whatever you're selling should not be based on time like in e-commerce you have product okay if you sell more product you make more money it's completely irrelevant to time you remove time from the equation and you can make millions of dollars while being as young as you want okay so the thing about it like if you sell 50 units at 20 dollars a pop in one day you made that much money i'm not gonna do the math because i suck at math but like that's that's money okay rather than you know like there's no time involved in that equation of money in that equation of you making money and putting it in your pocket, right? Rather than working a job where, you know, $10 an hour times 10 hours is $100, right? That money goes into your pocket. Like, that's the money equation that you're probably in right now. And you get out of that system, okay? So now it's, instead of time, you could be like $10 from 10 products equals $100. But those 10 products you could sell in five minutes, if you know what you're doing marketing wise, do you understand what I'm saying? So like literally like it's, it's I don't know, this video is so valuable guys and I hope you guys sort of like realize this because I'm really trying to sort of like show you guys the sort of the process and literally like how to do this. Um, but yeah guys, there's a lot of things you can start. You just need to create something, your own agency, um, your own, you know, uh, like just things that necessarily don't require you to sell your time is what I would advise you to do, okay? And again, the lowest barrier of entry things would be like flipping items, going into e-commerce, stuff like that. And this again, <coughs> always plug, but literally like you could build a brand. That's what I do is I build brands. Big companies pay me money to streamline and consult them on their own brands. I have my own branding agency that you guys can hire if you're interested in. That's the plug. I'm sorry, but I plug. Now, <laughs> um, man, this, oh, I'm not gonna eat the cookie yet. I will restrain myself. Discipline. Um, but yeah, guys, like it's really about creating something with value, okay? You need to create something that does not involve time or you tied to time in the equation or and allows you to extend time within your business, your organism, right? By getting more people or getting things that allow and free up more time and add more time to this 24 hours that you personally have, but your business technically has unlimited potential of the amount of time it can sort of like use, okay? So that is the video, guys. I just burped. I just burped again. Sorry. Yeah, it's really late. Um, and I have a flight tomorrow morning. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to comment, guys, if you have questions. I know this was a little bit of an in-depth or confusing video for some of you. But again, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Um, it's a little bit more general. Um, but I hope you guys like it because I feel like I can give a lot of value in terms of general uh, business as well just because I'm all over the place, not just in e-commerce for the people that have been around. Um, but yeah, that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys in the next one. I am about to surprise my mom and family for Mother's Day. They don't know I'm coming, so that should be fun. And if we move into a bigger house, you guys might see some vlogs starting up, which I think will be even more fun because I think there's a lot of business things you can learn by just seeing how we operate on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? But that's the video, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. I'm going to eat my cookie. Shoots. Congratulations, Dre, you're in this video. <laughs> Alright, dope. Follow me on Instagram. I need clout. Andre dot Oh yeah. Man. What's up, bro? I'm recording a video right now. Oh shit. <laughs>
<laughs> no, you're good, man. I haven't even started talking yet. I'm just eating this cookie. Everyone's going downstairs. It's just recording. <laughs> mm. Isaiah, I'm going to need everyone to shut the fuck up. Hell yeah. Okay, well. We eat the cookie later. <clears throat> what? <laughs> fuck off.